Portable TV, come watch with me. All right, Amazon is rolling out a new technology at their Whole Foods grocery stores. So if reaching into your pocket to grab your credit card is too cumbersome, you can now save precious seconds by simply hovering your palm at checkout. You simply need to go to a, a participating store, register your palm and a credit card on the device, and you are set across all participating Whole Foods stores. But what are you giving up when you're signing up for convenience. Joining us to discuss, Boombus co-host, investigative journalist Ben Swan is gonna weigh in. Ben, uh, I can have a whole lot of fun with this <laughs> palm stuff, oh, yeah. um, but I'll, I'll keep it clean, we're a family show. Um, so how does this all work? I mean, wh where do my biometrics go? I didn't even realize you were headed in that direction. <laughs> so let me regather this. All right, so it's called Amazon One. That's the name of the pilot program. It's actually being rolled out in one Whole Foods store uh, in Seattle right now. They say they'll move it to others soon. The idea here is that you're going to scan your palm print when you go to pay. That palm print has been connected to some kind of credit card that you have or debit card, and that's how you're charged. It's very similar if you have an iPhone to, you know, if you use uh, your Apple ID face recognition in order to use your Apple Pay. It's the same type of thing. The difference is, you know, with Apple Pay, everything is stored on one device. With this, it's not stored on one device. It's actually stored in servers that Amazon will control. Of course, Amazon with AWS controls the largest amount of cloud servers in the world, but of course, they're not the most secure in that. It doesn't mean they're impenetrable. Someone could essentially get in there. They might be able to hack into it and access all of this information. That's a big could, would, maybe. <laughs> the bottom line is the whole idea here is we're going to make it faster, easier, and gather more biometric data on you. Okay, okay. So upside here during COVID, <laughs> let me get this straight. You hover your palm, right? So there's no contact. Okay, great, cool. Right. But correct me if I'm wrong, Amazon, <laughs> AWS, does a whole lot of work with the guys down the street, otherwise known as the Pentagon. Yes, that's exactly right. Remember that Amazon and AWS specifically fought for that huge $10 billion defense contract where they were gonna do all the cloud computing and storage for the Pentagon. They ultimately didn't get that contract, maybe a sliver of it, but yeah. they didn't get the whole thing. But yes, they do a lot of work for defense contractors, for the defense department itself, and for the Pentagon. So yeah, there's, there's a huge issue. And there's also the issue, remember that Amazon had its recognition, spelled with a K, recognition, um, you know, artificial intelligence, facial recognition software that it was trying to essentially sell to police departments across mm -hmm. the country. It finally shut that program down. So they have a, a long history of trying to work <laughs> with government agencies. Yes, and, and some of these technologies obviously not panning out. Um, what about this technology <laughs> is supposed to reduce friction? What does that mean and, yeah. and how, how is it applied? So the idea here is, and, and it's kind of the, the story with everything with Amazon, right? So the term they use is reduce friction, which essentially means that you're gonna be able to check out much faster. So if you have an Amazon Prime account right now, there's a button that you have there. It's not mm -hmm. just to purchase or put into your cart, it's buy now. So you click it and you're able to immediately buy without having to go through a longer process of going to your cart and checking out. It's the same <laughs> idea they say, but obviously this has a whole lot of components that that doesn't. Oh, I know. It's very, very cumbersome to, to wait for the next screen to come up in you know a, a millisecond. Um, so I, right. okay, you're investing tons of brain power into cutting out having to reach into your wallet. Like okay, get it. Um, but they're not the only ones. Spare bank um, and and grocery store a uh, grocery store chain in Russia called Magnet plan to launch biometric payment systems as well as part of a hundred grocery stores. I heard in Moscow. Um, yeah. Of course. I mean, this is face stuff that they're doing there. What can go wrong? Right. Yeah, I think the, the, the real story here, right, this is the real crux of the story, which is biometrics. Using biometrics as, as forms of payment, whether it's Face ID, which, again, we use right now for a lot of us on an iPhone. If you have an Apple iPhone, you're already using Face ID in order to make purchases. So why not do it at the grocery store as well? Well, what it really comes down to is how much data are you giving away? So it's not just data of habits like we have on Facebook, right, where we're browsing, where we're looking, what we're shopping for. But now in this case, you would literally be linking biometrics, your palm or your facial recognition or your, you know, your facial structure, linking it to purchasing habits, what you're buying, when you're buying, and what quantities are you buying, how often are you buying? Because remember that when it comes to data, 
you are the product. So all mm -hmm. this information that's being gathered about you is now being used to either wait, wait, wait. change products or sell things to you. Wait, wait, Ben, I got one last question. Okay, yeah. I have been the victim of identity theft before. I have been an idiot mm -hmm. pumping gas, put my wallet on the trunk pumping gas, got in the car and left, right? Had my ID stolen, yeah. information, credit cards, all that stuff. All that good stuff yeah. happened. But they can't steal your face, they can't steal your palm, so is that the upside? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it's the upside. The, the question is, we don't know that they can't steal your face or your palm. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because, remember, all this data is going to be st stored in servers someplace. So what does that ultimately look like? If a hacker is able to get in there, are they able to access the biometric data? Are they able to make... And Can I they don't duplicate this, it? Can they duplicate your palm? Can they duplicate it? Absolutely. Can they take... Because remember, it's not an actual palm print. It's data that reflects a palm print. Therefore, are they able to manipulate and, and copy that data in order to utilize it? We don't know the answer to it.